As a kid, I adored toys and novelties that did something. Okay, maybe that's a bit vague, so let me explain. What I mean is like the little towels you could get that started out as a tablet and then, as if by magic, unfolded and revealed their design when you put them in water. I was a total sucker for anything that revealed itself in a unique way after you bought it. It felt like I was being let in on a secret. Of course, if I'd understood it was just a towel that had been pressed down into a small shape very, very hard, I might have been less excited. And I'd have been even less excited if I knew the most common use for them was to wipe your butt with when you go camping. Magical mystery art towel sounds a lot more appealing than what they're normally known as toilet paper tablets. A step up from the towels was the little toys hidden inside of a fizzing rock. You can still get them today. You drop the egg into a bowl of water, it fizzes dramatically, and your toy is revealed from underneath a torrent of bubbles. That's much better. A very cool way for a novelty item to reveal itself. But not cool enough for it to be featured on this channel. No, we're going to go beyond simple tricks with water. Now, normally, if you want something explosive for kids to play with, you need to get a science kit or make a big mess with vinegar and baking soda. It's inconvenient and you don't get any toys out of doing that. But what if I told you there is something out there that is supposed to explode and shower you with toys, all without you needing to do anything and without getting chemicals everywhere? Ladies and gentlemen, that is what today's toy promises to do and we're going to test it out right now. Boom, lighting's a bit better this time, and this is a surprisingly hefty capsule. It's only got eight beans inside, and they're tiny, but uh, I guess the little metal ball bearing inside makes them a little bit heavier. Right there in the top, you can see we've got a revealed bean just to tempt you in. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the one in the top is never a rare one. Because that would be a bit weird. People would avoid the ones that didn't have a rare bean on top and only go for the ones where they're guaranteed to get something uncommon. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if you've ever bought one of these and gotten a rare bean as the revealed one. Nice little set of instructions on the outside, some beans flying around. All right, let's crack into this. It's got an easy pull tab, but uh, that won't stop me from screwing it up. Uh, yep, like I said, it won't stop me from screwing it up. Luckily, I have man strength. I have strong hands and I can just rip right through this. Ah, uh, you cannot hide the beans from me. Oh, maybe you can. Nope, I'm, I'm all the way through. Here we go, folks. This is the bright green mega bean underneath. Unfortunately, this one won't roll like the normal ones uh, because it's not a full bean. But hey, it looks pretty cool. And that's the top off. Oh, there's some little bits and pieces of paper inside. Looks like there's more packaging than I expected. Okay. See it something i can't quite read it and i can't quite get it out either okay there we go oh this is just telling you what this does it's a bit of a spoiler if i were you i would hide this from your kid so they don't know what to expect there's a little target as well okay i guess we just pull this out and then we will have access to the bean which looked like a cow i think but i'm not sure get that oh there's 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 more packaging <laughs> this thing's like a Russian matryoshka doll. Maybe you can never get to the bean and you just have to open layer after layer of plastic endlessly. One more layer. Let's give this a tug. Yeah. Ah, the bean has been released. It's on the loose, ladies and gentlemen. And it feels pretty good in the hands. Yep, this is a little... A uh, sheep. Or maybe it's a lamb. It's hard to tell how old a bean is. Surprise! I have improved the lighting even further so you can see it a bit better. I've also figured out that the GoPro doesn't focus very well when the bean is too close. So I'm holding it a bit further back. You might want to see it closer, but that doesn't really work. Anyway, this is the sheep mighty bean. I like how it's got the little hooves. Pause? What does a sheep have? Answer in the comments below. Anyway, ladies and gents, that's just a teaser bean. We're gonna get onto the main event very shortly. So here's the pod once you've removed everything from the outside of it. It's got a little crack down the side, that's where it's gonna split. This one's a bit more open, which worries me slightly. Is this f gonna be faulty? Is it gonna still work? It looks slightly opened already. Well, there's only one way to find out. We've gotta give it a good old whack. Uh, nothing's happening. It's not moving. Uh-oh, maybe I was right again. Bang! Oh no! Have I gotten a dodgy one? 
It wasn't super cheap, it wasn't super expensive, but if I've thrown away ten pounds, that's gonna really suck, and I'm gonna have to say don't buy these. Is it is it going? No. Nothing. No change, no sound, no explosion. I think we would have noticed if there was an explosion. Last one. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. I recorded this one separately to the audio, so there you go. You could hear my voice through the GoPro. No, it absolutely wasn't broken. This little balloon here, some sort of chemical reaction happens inside it, inflates, and it blows the whole thing apart. It's quite cold to the touch, and you can hear it hissing. It's like there's a little snake inside. I don't know if the camera's mic can pick that up, but trust me, it's fairly loud. There's some other unexpected stuff inside of here too, like there's just a little green elastic band. I have no idea what this is for. Do you use it to fire beans at people like a weapon? Is it part of the mechanism that makes it explode? You also get a little rarity chart, which is very nice. And there are a ton of these little guys. I don't want to think about how many you'd have to buy to collect them all. And this is just one of the series of beans. Also, as you get to the bottom, it's got a few rule sets for little games you can play. And these are, these are easy peasy. What I noticed as well is the bullseye. The bullseye is for playing a game. There we go, that makes sense. It's it's obvious, I should have realized. Maybe we'll take a shot at playing that at the end. For now though, let's see what we got. First up is a little ginger haired rocker dude. I like how the color of the bean itself perfectly matches the art. Even though it seems to be some kind of uh, pre-printed wraparound, it matches perfectly. This is the hot guitarist. He's just a common, and I like that he's got the little little feet down there at the bottom too. I honestly didn't expect the top and bottom to have printing on them. That's really nice. This one is clearly some kind of witch, and she's got the hat printed on the top. I like it. It just, it just shows that there's some level of care that goes into this. These aren't just little pieces of plastic rubbish purely designed to make money. I mean, that's mostly what they are, but they didn't have to do that. People would still buy them if there was just the wrap of art around the middle. This witch is just a common. Now this ugly little guy is a rare. He is a blobfish. Ever seen one of those in real life? No? Well, there you go. You might think this is an ugly mighty bean, but it's a hell of a lot prettier than the real thing. At least when it's out of water. When it's in water, the blobfish looks pretty normal for a fish. Next up, we have some sort of mad professor with his hair on fire. I wonder if we've had a couple ginger ones because they have a limited number of colors where the bean can match the hair on the eye. Hmm. Either way, looks really cool. Has a ton of detail, all sorts of experiments going wrong. This one is called the Wacky Scientist Mighty Bean, and he is a rare. Good grief, even the shoes have detail on them. Look, there's a little X on the sole of the shoe. The blobfish will always be my favorite, but this guy's really well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, look at this little devil. Part of me is afraid that it's gonna come to life and start chewing up my other toys. This is clearly a chihuahua. Look, there's a little tiny sombrero that shows it's Mexican. Chihuahuas are named after a state in Mexico, so makes sense. It's got a little handbag. Guess it's nice for it to be carrying one instead of being carried in one for once. And as you saw, this is the feisty chihuahua, Mighty Bean. Although they spelled feisty wrong. They did IE instead of EI. Uh, some of the adults watching might raise an eyebrow at the face and lips, but I'm sure it's innocent. Uh, although this Mighty Bean does not seem to be innocent himself at all. Looks like a real pyromaniac. That's someone who goes crazy about fire and starting fires. And his name is Firefly Mighty Bean. He's another common. The only two rares were the Blobfish and the Scientist guy. No super rares, ultra exclusives or anything, which kind of makes me want to buy more just to get some. Help, they've got me hooked. Nearly missed this one. It's a purple bat. I really like the shade of purple and I like his cool shades. Deal with it. Could be his catchphrase. There's something about this shade of purple, this sort of lilac-y, lavender-y plastic that I just think looks really good. Makes me imagine it's a candy that tastes like grape. Maybe I'm just weird. And this is the bat mighty bean. Yet another common. 
I said earlier we might give one of the games a shot, and that is just what we're gonna do. Bullseye Bean. You're meant to have two players, you have an equal number of beans, you both take turns rolling your beans onto the target, and whoever's beans are closest to the bullseye at the end wins. I'm all on my own, I don't have anyone to play against, but that doesn't matter, because I am terrible. I don't need the challenge of a person to play against when I am my own worst enemy. Look at this! It was on the target! And then it rolls off because of those little ball bearings. Makes it more exciting though. Makes it more tense. I'm through half my beans. Come on, man! I only have three more. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Gosh darn it. I need to roll them into the other beans so they bounce back. Well, that went nowhere near them, but the next one is going to bounce back onto the bullseye. Come on, blobfish! Yeah! These little guys are sort of the opposite of the last toys we looked at, which were crazy bones. Whereas crazy bones have wild shapes but few details drawn on, all of these are identical in shape but have very, very highly detailed designs on them. Which one's better is down to personal taste, but I do think Mighty Beans are more cleverly designed for playing with. They don't have any pointy bits that could easily get scuffed or dent what you're rolling them on, and they roll in a wackier way thanks to the ball bearing inside of them. If you're really into Mighty Beans, you can get some play sets specifically designed to roll the beans around in, but I've got to say that I think these are totally unnecessary. To my mind, play sets are more for action figures, dolls, or toy cars. You can get all the fun you need out of these just by playing simple rolling games and keeping a nice collection. Some of you may have noticed that these beans are a bit different from what you'd get back in the day. They used to be thinner and longer. You can find a few people asking absolutely insane prices for some of the thin ones, but I'm not sure anyone actually buys these. And are they really any better? In terms of the designs, that comes down to taste, but when it comes down to actually playing with them, I think the shorter, fatter ones roll better. Overall, I'd say the Slam Pack is a great little experience. Even as a grown man, the loud pop made me jump and the beans are a great addition to any kid's toy hoard. I could also definitely see this being a huge hit as a gift at a birthday party, with all the kids watching as the canister bursts open and throws beans around. It's definitely the kind of thing where, when they've grown up, they'll feel a wave of nostalgia after being reminded that this was a thing. Anyway folks, that's all for today. I'll see you next Friday with a brand new episode of Toy Detective. Until then, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and have a nice day.